is a justifiable anger, and it's because government has failed us, failed every single one of us. Um, I have said time and time again, um, again, coming out of the political corruption unit of the FBI will give you a very unique perspective, in this case of Capitol Hill, about what corruption looks like, what it smells like, what the sources are, and how to fight it and how to end it. And I can tell you, and I'm not telling anybody in this room anything you don't already know, that by and large, politicians more often are self-servants than they are public servants. And that needs to change. How do we change it? First and foremost, term limits. It is the single most important thing that has to happen in politics. Because believe me when I tell you, coming out of the public corruption unit, it was rare if ever that we would prosecute someone two, three, four years into office. It happens, but it's rare. 15, 20, 25 years, far more common. And the reason is simple, because when you, the reality is, and the unfortunate reality is, politics is a money-driven system, and there's a lot of bad things that happen in the political world. And even the, the, the most principled, well-intended, backbone people that enter that system, bad things happen. It's not a healthy place to stay. And George Washington had it right when he wanted to put his time in, go back to his farm in Mount Vernon, and live under the laws he helped pass. If we had that structure, first and foremost, so many other problems would be solved because we would return to a citizen legislature. People wouldn't stay there for decades on end and become part of a professional political class. They would go home and make way for the new generation of leadership. That's a healthy system. That's what needs to change. I think that's the core of what the problem is.